Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a Koopa X11 tablet, which is a tablet with an Intel Atom Oak Trail processor and a 10-inch 1366 by 768 pixel display. And this particular version is running Windows 8 Consumer Preview. It was sent to me by the folks at Koopa for testing purposes for a short period, and I wanted to sort of test out the overall tablet performance and, uh, and see how it works with Windows 8. And this is a quick video review. Um, as you can see here, one of the things that really is going to set it apart from a lot of tablets that we're going to see on the market later this year with um, ARM-based processors is the fact that it can run both the Windows 8 desktop and Metro-style user interfaces, and it's got two USB ports, which means you can plug in a keyboard and mouse and sort of use it like a typical Windows 7 computer if you really want to. Um, and you can... the main difference here is that the start menu now is replaced with a start screen. Um, but overall, it's it's not the uh, Windows 7 desktop style view, but the Windows 8 Metro style view that's going to set it apart from what you have today. So let's take a quick look at what you can do. So the tablet is about 2.2 pounds. It's a little heavier than, say, an iPad or most Android tablets, um, but it's still you know smaller and lighter than most netbooks. Uh, it's relatively comfortable to hold in one hand. It's really made more for professionals and, and industrial use, and it has a very sort of thick plastic case you can see here. It's got a fingerprint scanner, a couple of buttons down here, which have uh, special functions. In Windows right now, you can sort of, in Windows 8, you can use them to uh, do things like click to select or uh, adjust the screen brightness. Speakers on the bottom, a couple of uh, d dials here that'll let you enable or disable wireless. Two USB ports, headset jack, HDMI, and a SIM card slot. And on the top, a power button and a vent. We've also got a front facing camera and a rear-facing camera and another vent. Now, it's got a low-power processor with a TDP of um, uh, thermal design power of about 3 watts, which means that it doesn't generate a lot of uh, heat. It does get a little bit warm to the touch in the back, but there are actually no fans inside, so it operates pretty quietly, um, so a little heat isn't really that much of a problem. And that low-power processor also means that you get pretty good battery life. Even with a keyboard and mouse plugged in using it sort of like a Windows desktop, I found myself getting about six and a half hours of battery life. Under other situations, you might be able to get as much as eight hours. Koopa says ten hours. I think that might be a little optimistic, but it's not entirely out of the question. Um, as you probably know by now, Windows 8 is really designed for touch input, and you've got these, this Metro-style user interface supports navigation with your fingers, and we've got a new Internet Explorer 10 web browser, which is also touch-capable, and has a sort of full-screen view here. One of the things that makes the uh, Koopa nice is that it's got a 1366 by 768 pixel display, which is the minimum required for some of the uh, key Metro-style full-screen app-type uh, features, including Windows snapping. And what that means is that if you want to, say, have multiple windows open at the same time, you can snap them and view the browser on one end and the uh, weather app in the other, or we can switch which one is the large one, and eventually that weather one's going to load. Which sort of gets to another one of the points that I wanted to make here, which is that um, the Koopa is capable of running Windows 8 and does a reasonably good job with these full-screen, one-at-a-time type applications, but it takes a little bit longer to load them than uh, would be really pleasant on, on some computers. And when it comes to the desktop-style user interface, that's when you're really going to start to notice it lag more, because there you might expect to be able to run multiple applications uh, at the same time, or say surf the web with multiple browser windows open and flip back and forth between them. And I found when I tried to use this to get any real work done as a blogger, which generally means surfing the web with multiple web uh, uh, browser tabs open, uh, editing photos, maybe listening to some music at the same time, um, it, it really started to feel really quite sluggish. Um, but if you want to do sort of one thing at a time, it does it reasonably well. And so for professional use, if if you're looking for a tablet that can run Windows applications um, and you don't necessarily need to worry that much about multitasking, but say you're a, a field technician or somebody who's going to need to be out in the field and get good battery life, you know, the Koopa X11 might be something that would work. Um, just to show you here, it does run full desktop style applications. This is Internet Explorer 10. It's 
basically the same browser, but without the full screen touch friendly interface. And you can see again, it's sort of taking a long time to load. Uh, same goes for third party web browsers. I loaded the Google Chrome web browser on here. And yeah, it just it takes a little longer than I would like to get started. Now, another thing that sets this apart, though, from most cheaper tablets you're going to find is that it does include an active digitizer and support for a stylus. So what that means is that you get support for not only sort of the tap to hold right click emulation, but you can tap and right click. You should be able to. There we go. So we've got a context menu. So that's something that's a little bit difficult to do sometimes when you're just using your fingers. And more significantly, I think, is that you've got hover actions. So you can see here I'm actually not touching the screen, but it's highlighting things as I scroll over them. And that really comes in handy when you're doing things like opening uh, Windows Explorer, and say you want to copy some files from one space to another, you can actually hover, make sure that you've got the right files, select your files, copy them. A stylus really makes a pretty big difference, I think, when you're doing that sort of action. It would probably help if I was in a folder that would do this properly. Okay. There we go. So uh, overall, you know, as a tablet that's capable of doing more than just the Windows 8 Metro style user interface, can also do the desktop style interface, has a stylus uh, or digital pen for uh, Windows style actions, whether or not you're using a keyboard and mouse. Um, you know, it's, it's sort of a, a nice alternative to uh, some of the tablets that we've seen recently. There's a lot of websites, for instance, that really do also uh, rely on this hover action. So, you know, for instance, up here on the top of the Google tab, you can see that I'm highlighting different areas before clicking on them. And that's the sort of thing that's a little bit difficult to do when you're just using a finger input. Uh, there's also a nice big keyboard, which is just miles ahead of the uh, Windows 7 on-screen keyboard for entering text on this sort of device. You can use your thumbs, you can almost touch type, I find, um, although uh, when, you're, when you're doing sort of a touch typing kind of thing, you don't get any tactile feedback and you might have a lot of typos, so I often wind up using sort of one or two fingers instead. You can split the keyboard and just use your thumbs if you like. Uh, it's a little small for my tastes here. Or you can do handwriting recognition, so My handwriting is pretty awful, so there's a very good chance that this might not work, but let's see what happens. Yeah, not even close. Um, but if you have better handwriting than me, then you might be able to, uh, to get away with that. Uh, this is pre-release software. You know, we're looking at Windows 8 Consumer Preview on an uh, already established tablet, the Koopa X11. So there's plenty of time for Microsoft to sort of improve performance. There's time for Koopa to optimize things. And it's also possible that uh, we could see other tablets with other processors. But given that there's a lot of talk about sort of Windows 8 on ARM, which is only going to have the Metro style user in, uh, experience, I think it's interesting to see that it's possible to uh, to have a more... Uh, combined desktop and um, and metro style experience, even if it's not a stellar experience for uh, Windows 8 desktop style use. Um, applications though, like say the Kobo ebook reader app, um, really do sort of rival, I think, the uh, the sorts of apps that we see on the iPad and Android tablets in terms of say reading books or those full screen apps like the weather app that we saw. Um, but as you can see, sort of the overall performance is not as good as it could be. It sort of takes a little longer to get certain things done. Um, and I think a lot of that is because this is a tablet that prioritizes low power consumption over high performance. So if you're looking for a high performance tablet, you might want to get something that's really more optimized um, with a faster processor or uh, perhaps even one that just only does the Metro style user interface. But if you're looking for something that can run thousands, maybe even millions of applications that were designed for earlier versions of Windows, uh, you could probably do worse than the Koopa X11. Uh, starting price of about $699, $799 if you want 3G. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a video review of the Koopa X11 with Windows 8 Consumer Preview.